The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 814. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap-Chan, and today we have another amazing Asian woman who boss up author. Now, this woman is phenomenal. I've interviewed her a couple years back, and I'm just so grateful that she's on the book with us because she has such an amazing story. I'll share a little bit about what she does. She's an international speaker, an author, a philanthropist, and also a business advisor specializing in strategy and leadership. And I'm really just grateful to have her on today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Mary D. Mary, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to the listeners. Awesome. Thank you for having me on, Sheena. I feel like we have come full circle. I think I was in one of your like early episodes. So thank you for having me on again. And I just really want to congratulate you. You won a Golden Crane Award from the Asian American Podcasters Association and a Bronze Award from the Asian Podcast Network. So huge congratulations to you. I cannot tell you how much it warms my heart to see you uplifted and just see you recognized for your gift in the world. So my name is Mary D and I am a fractional COO. I like to tell people that my title is chief fun advisor because I like to teach people how to have a good time and have fun in living their best life. So I'm all about helping people create the right recipe for their life and their business to really come into it and remember that we are all good enough and that we have everything that we need. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, Mary. I really appreciate that. And Mary, what's your cultural background? So I am a, I'm a nice mix. Uh, according to my, you know, D- DNA results, I'm literally 50-50, which really quite surprised me. Background is Thai. That's from my mom's side. And my dad's a mix of uh, European American. So uh, I, I like to tell people I am a little bit of both, a little bit of both. And when people say what's both, I say little, little bit of both, <laughs> just like that. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And how does the model minority myth hurt Asian women as a, as a whole? Oh, gosh. You know, that model minority myth, it, it hurts a lot of us. Uh, it hurts us because it creates biases, creates that old adage of inadequacy. Also, setting, I think, expectations that sometimes are, are unrealistic. It, it's like, oh, you're, you're Asian, so you must be good at math or... And then if I'm Asian and I'm not good at math, then and am, I, am I less than because the stereotype is that I'm supposed to be? Am I running around with COVID, you know, the COVID one because I'm Asian and that's the origins of the virus? You know, do I cook good because I'm Asian? It just sets us up for all these expectations that I think can, can be full of disappointment. And I think it's done in a lot of uh, cultures, unfortunately. And it's really kind of up to us to help debunk those myths and show up as we are, who we are, fully with our vulnerabilities and our imperfections and also our gifts and, and show the world that, you know, despite sometimes the mess and despite some of the biases that might be floating out there, that uh, we can show up in our, our best fullest self. Thanks for sharing that. And it's so true, right? I mean, Most of society thinks that Asian women are just quite submissive and obedient and really need to step away from that because it really hurts us as a a whole. It really hurts our careers, things that we want to do, even just for ourselves, thinking we're not enough. So I'm really glad you're able to mention that. And why do you think creating a stronger representation of Asian women is so important to you? You know, we are so grossly underrepresented and and I really just want to help amplify Asian women. There's definitely still, I think, a little bit of a stigma of hiding in the shadows or standing quietly in the background. And now more than ever, we need leadership and we need more women of color to take up that staff and say, hey, I'm here. I have a difference to make and I'm here to do it. And I really feel like this is, you know, the the, the coming of the times. 2021 is if ever there was a year where women were going to take up that staff and really shine, I think I think this is the one. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And totally agree. It's it's 2021. We really need to step it up. And if we really crave for that representation, it really has to start with ourselves. And how does it feel being that representation for so many Asian women in the world? 
it feels amazing. You know, I don't know that there's ever a better compliment than when another person acknowledges that you've made a difference or inspired or encouraged them. And also realizing we're, we're all really connected. You know, when we acknowledge that in each other, we're becoming part of the solution rather than the problem. I stopped complimenting people in my mind. And instead, if I admired something in someone or felt a certain way, I've learned to just say it. And there's a lot of power in that because it's the power of speaking life into somebody else. So why hold a compliment when you can really make a difference in someone's day by speaking those words of life to them. You never know where they might be at in their day or what self-talk they might be having. And I've learned to just really push through some of the uncomfortableness and open up to that vulnerability and just dive right in and be like, hi, I think you're beautiful, by the way. Hi, I'm super proud of who you are. Hi, I love your soul. Hi, I love that scarf, like whatever it is. And I just, I don't hold back anymore. And I said, I want people to come at me with their their love and their their compliments and the the kindness that they have to say to me or with the things that they're thinking. And so if I want to be, if that's what I want, then I should be that person in the world. Thanks for sharing that. And I love how you mentioned, you know, saying compliments, because also one thing that we're good at is not learning to accept compliments, right? Someone says you, you're you beautiful. You're like, uh, maybe uh, I don't know if you're talking to me. Oh, no, no, I'm not. And we really have to learn to accept compliments because we have to see it as, you know, a form of currency. Like we we build it up in our like confidence bank, whatever bank it is, whether it's a positivity bank, it really helps us build our own confidence along the way. And so it just it's also like give it give and take, right? You can give compliments, you should accept compliments as well. It goes both ways. So I really love that. And share one reason as to why every Asian woman needs to read this book. So the stories in the book, I believe, are going to give you encouragement. There are actual frameworks in there. There's inspiration to get you where you want to go. Times are weird. And I really think it's important we guard our minds and our mindset. It's just too easy to let the doubt creep in. And one way to stay the right path is to feed our mind good things. And this book is full of good things. And I really, really feel like people will be inspired and also get a little cultural peace in there and a little, a little eye opening and a little diversity. I think, I think it's just full of all those good things. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I'm just really excited to have you as one of the authors because you have such an amazing story. Like you've been able to push through so many things in your life and what can readers gain from reading your story? Ooh, I like that. I like to think that my story is there to remind each and every woman that she is a badass inside. You can get through anything, you can have anything you want in this life, and you can have fun doing it. And I never want that story to stop. Like I want women to know that they can have what they want in life and they can have it in the fullness that they want it in. There, there, there aren't all these sacrifices and things that have to be made. There's not giant compromises. Like you literally can have what you want. It's available to you. Awesome. And I totally agree with that, right? I think it really just goes like the the main thing is making that decision. And I know sometimes it's hard for us to make a decision because all our lives, people have been making decisions for us, but it's that greatest feeling when you can make your own decision to make your life better. And even if it looks like totally what you did not picture, just know everything happens for a reason. So thanks for sharing that. And Mary, can you share a boss up tip for our listeners today? Ooh, I love boss up tips. Okay. One of my favorite ones is create a wake up routine and a wind down routine every day because a strong wake up routine helps you own your day and a strong wind down routine helps you close out the day day, ideally in gratitude. And by living each day very intentionally, we make room to be more present each and every day of our lives. And that is definitely an ingredient to living our best life. And it also lets us always have the day as its own intentional piece. You know, So if it was a tough day, you get to start over the next day. If it was a fantastic day, you can still get to start over the next day. So it always keeps things fresh. It gives us good, positive habits. And it also gives our body a way of knowing when we're ready to conquer the day and when we're ready to close out the day. Awesome. I love that tip. I think I may have to use that as well. So thanks for sharing that, Mary. And Mary, where can they pre-order the physical copy of the book? Yes, they can go over to www.maryd.com. That's M-A-R-Y-D-E-E.com. And they can pre-order there. And I've got some uh, little extras too for anyone that pre-orders. 
Awesome. And is there any other social media profiles we can connect with? Wow. Actually, there's quite a few. So we've got Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All of my handles are at the Mary D. So the Mary D, T H E M A R Y D E E. And uh, you can also catch me on Clubhouse. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Mary, you can also head on over to the TauofSelfConfidence.com and search for Mary's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else that we talked about. And I really just want to thank Mary today for taking the time again to share her wisdom, share her story, share her tips. So Mary, thank you so much. And I'm really excited for this book to come out. Thanks, Sheena. You're amazing. I'm so excited about being able to co-author that with you. Thank you for that opportunity and the powerhouse that you are. I love you. I love you, sister. Aw, appreciate it. Thank you. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another Asian woman who boss up co-author is going to share her tips and stories as well and how she's so excited for this book to come out. So tune into the next episode. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. You can order your copy of Asian Women Who Boss Up Book by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. 